Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here uh, from Code, we, uh, Code with JV channel. This is my brand new YouTube channel and this is the first video. So in this first video, I am going to talk about the Angular 6 snippets which can be quite useful for like anybody. Uh, so what I did is like I created a, uh, a test application called my test snippet and that uh, test application I have created with uh, in, uh, Angular 6 CLI so nothing new so let's get started uh, so what I want to do is I want to open my favorite code editor called Visual Studio Code as you might all know so the thing I wanted to talk about is uh, this so there are like two Angular extensions of uh, Visual Studio Code First is from like Michael Morun, which provides like lots of uh, code snippets. Uh, so here you can see like uh, there are like uh, 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 start with prefix and like you can add lot many snippet related to test, uh, related to Angular multi design, uh, regular to like uh, uh, ngrx templates also like uh, ng access template is also there so there are tons of functionalities available with this and this is one of the popular uh, stat, uh, like uh, snippet uh, available on the visual studio code code marketplace don't worry about this uh, uh, this link and everything i will going to put this on uh, the uh, video description itself so this is the one snippet and there is one uh, another snippet which i like quite is from john papa so here uh, you can see like there are tons of functionality also there mostly on the typescript side where like you you can write the components so like it will create a component for example if i created a component so if i write a dash component then uh, like this will create a like uh, the uh, you can say like uh, the plain code uh, which is for me and it will like help me get uh, uh, things better so let's go through it and uh, let me demo some of the things here with that so here i am in the app.component.html and here i am writing this uh, this uh, thing called ng and here you can see like there are tons of things are uh, there so suppose if you want if I want to write ng4 so it will write me the ng4 like like so for example if I want to repeat my p tag and here if I write ng-4 so here you can see like I can repeat this this uh, stops there same way if I want to put a button there so if I click on this ng dash button so it will put the ng button with the click command so at least all cool stops are there like uh, you can use this uh, stops from the uh, Michael Molund uh, code snippets now let's see about the uh, component uh, and uh, stops from the join proper. So let's let me create a one uh, another TypeScript file. Uh, let's create it. So I am creating it as component.ts. So this is a blank TypeScript file. So if I write a right if i am writing a base component so it will create my component and other stops right away i don't need to write the boilerplate code for this so this is like quite handy yeah, suppose if i want to create a method Like if I want to create a, a routing a routing module, so it it will create a sorry. Let me remove this. Uh, if I want to create a routing module, right? So it can create like something like this. 
and it will like import your all the components from it and like it it is very helpful so i am sure you must be liking this when you're doing angular or six or any ang uh, angular version development so like uh, these two things i wanted to share so this is my first video on my brand new new channel called code with jerry so if you if you like this video please 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 subscribe to my video i am i, I will promise you that uh, like i am going to post post lot many videos on node.js asp.net angular and few other technologies so thank you for watching it and looking forward to see you again thank you